Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about how you can connect this Hikey Vision camera to the NVR. So as you can see, I have this bullet camera. It's back there close to my window, as you can see. It's there pointing outside. And here is the image of the camera on my NVR. I have different images here. I have real link camera, another real link here, um, Crest camera, and this one is the Hike Vision. Okay, let me just double click here so you can see it loads. That's the Hike Vision camera that's back there. Okay, closing close to my window, pointing outside. Right, and I want to show here a diagram so you can understand better how everything is connected and how it works. So what I have here is the IP camera. That's the Hike Vision connected to a PoE switch and then connected to the router. And this router is connected to the NVR right here, which is also connected to a, another IP camera. That's the Amcrest. Okay. So back here, as you can see, I have an Amcrest camera here that is connected directly here to the NVR port, because as you can see, the NVR has internal ports here. Okay eight ports that you can connect camera directly to it and this port can power the camera using the poe or power over ethernet so i have a real link camera here and i have the umcrest camera here okay and of course i have power for the nvr i have the connection to the lamp port that goes to my router and i have the connection to the hdmi monitor right so this one goes to the router and back to the diagram here, you can see the connection that I'm talking about. That's the one, okay? It's connecting from the NVR to the router. And as long as I have the IP camera here connecting also to the router, I can have the camera being recorded and displayed here into my NVR. Of course, I still have a monitor that's not represented here, but I have a monitor connected directly here to this NVR, right? So basically what you have to do is connect your IP camera to your router, or you can also connect your IP camera, the Hike Vision one, directly to the NVR as I have right here with the Amcrest camera, okay? So that's the Amcrest camera. I could replace it and connect instead of the Amcrest camera, I can connect the Hike Vision camera directly here if I want to. That's not the case, just uh, that you can see that I can connect in different ways, either directly or via the router, right? Oh, but how about if you don't have a PoE switch, for example? you can power your camera using the power supply. So like using camera, there's an option for power supply, you connect a power supply to the camera, you remove the switch from here and you connect the cable directly from the camera to the router, right? And it works as well. I can also connect my laptop directly to the PoE switch or directly to the router. So I have the laptop in the same network. That's important, okay? So, uh, IP schemes here. Let me just explain how it works. So basically the NVR has two different IP ranges, right? One that's connected to the router. So that's 192.168.0. something. Okay, you see the camera also has this IP. 198.168.0. something. And the other port is connected to the IP camera with IP range 10.1.1. something. Okay. Again, two interfaces, right? The switch interface with eight ports. Doesn't matter which port you connect the camera to, it's going to get power from PoE and also get an IP from the NVR with this IP range. And this one's connected to the router and then gets an IP from the router. Again here, quick reveal, IP ports connected to the camera and this one connected to the router, right? So now that you understand the diagram, let's come here to the NVR. And here you see the image from the Hike Vision camera. When I right click here, I go to menu. Let me just draw my pattern here. It's just for testing. And when I come here to the network, you see that my NVR is getting the IP via DHCP, which means it's, it, get, it gets the IP directly from the router, okay? Back here to the di diagram. Here's the interface, it gets an IP here from the router, right? Via DHCP, which is the dynamic host configuration protocol, okay? Back here to the NVR. So we have here DHCP, gets an IP, here we go. It's 192.168.0.224. Remember that I said in the diagram here, you have this IP range, 192.168.0. something. That's it, right? It's getting uh, 0.224, okay? as you can see here all right that's the 
configuration for the NVR. So it's working on this IP range, working pretty well. I've just come back here to the cameras and now here you can see what I'm talking about. When I have a camera directly connected to the NVR, the camera has this IP 10.1.1.something and another one here 10.1.1.something, okay? 128 and 129, okay? So uh, one of the camera is the Reolink and the other one is the Amcrest, as you can see here, Reolink and Amcrest. And here I have another real link via the, the router and also the high vision via the router, right? So it connects here. So what's pretty important to understand here, they're using different protocols. If I come here, as you can see, I'm using ONVIF. That's the universal protocol to connect uh, security cameras because this is not a, a non-crest camera. It's a real link camera, right? Another one here, let me just click here so you can see as well. This one is an Amcrest camera, so I'm not using the OnVIF protocol, which means when I connect directly with the same brand like I have here right now, I have the Amcrest camera connected to Amcrest um, NVR. So I don't need to use OnVIF. OnVIF is just the generic protocol. It's like uh, English as the universal language, right? If everybody speaks English, everybody can communicate, right? That's not the case here. That's a protocol that Amcrest um, uses and then NVR also uses. They can communicate, so I don't use OnVIF here, but I need to use OnVIF for the high vision cameras, for the reeling camera as well. So back here to the NVR, the other camera that I have here, also using OnVIF because this one is a real link camera. And finally here for the high vision, I'm using OnVIF as well in the same IP range here as the diagram shows, right? So back to the diagram so you can understand better. So here I have the NVR connected to the router, this IP scheme, and then I connect an IP camera here. And I, I'm now representing here, but I have another real link connecting here to this router, okay, via Wi-Fi. So basically, let's say I have the camera here connecting via Wi-Fi, it connects directly to the router here and gets this IP 192.168.0. something, okay? I'm not representing here because I'm talking more about high vision in this video and I'm representing just the high vision camera here, but the idea is the same. As long as I have the camera connected to the router, then if you can see it because it is using the same network range here, right? So, uh, let me just show something important here. As long as I have my laptop connected to the router or to the PoE switch that's also connected to the router, I have the laptop in the same network as the camera. And then I can have access to the camera using a web browser or using the high vision software. So the first thing that I do when I connect a camera like this on my network, the high vision, I need to use the software to find the camera in the network, right? So here's the, there's the high vision software. It finds the camera on the network. As you can see, 192.168.0.225. And then I can activate the camera. For the first time when I connect here, it's not activated. Then I need to connect here, select the camera, come here and activate the camera. And I also enable DHCP, which means now the camera can get an IP from my router and I can have the camera here in the same network as everything else, as my computer, right? And then I have access to the camera via web browser. As you can see here, I have my high vision camera. I just type the IP address here and I have access to the web browser. So let me just enter the username and password here so I can log into the camera. Here we go. Oops, let me try again. Here we go. Log into the camera. And here I need to come to this menu, configuration menu. Let me just show first that I have live view. I'm connecting directly to the camera view web browser. It's important to understand that I have live view from the camera view web browser. And then I can make sure that the camera is working, okay? Then what I do, I come here into configuration. In this menu, network, advanced settings, I look for integration protocol. And then I need to enable the OnVIF protocol here, okay? For a real link camera, for example, it's already enabled, but for high vision camera, you need to come here and enable the protocol here. 
and also create a username and password, right? So I just click here, add. I type here, admin, for example, and I can create a password to connect via OnVIF, okay? So to be clear, I have the user that connects to the camera, right? The regular user, and I have on, the OnVIF user. I can use another name here, username. I just selecting again, admin, because I want to, but I can put any name here and use a password. That's important because you're going to come later here in the NVR, back here to the NVR, and you're gonna use this user here. Let me just delete the camera here so you can see when I delete the, the camera, that's the high vision camera. I delete it here. And as you can see, the NVR scans the network and finds the camera. The camera is here and it's connected via OnVIF and it's the high vision camera, right? because the Hikvision got a uh, camera, got an IP from the router, the IP is here, the only if it's enabled there, which is important, then the NVR can find this because it's a universal protocol. And then when I add the camera here, I select it and I add here, it comes down, it stay red for a while because I need to insert, you see, now it's uh, green again because I already have the correct username and password here, okay? Which is here, username admin, and the password, it's the OnVIF password that I created there, okay? Back here to the camera interface, remember this username and the password that I created here for this user. That's the one that I'm using here to then if you are communicate with the camera and connect to the camera, okay? And then it just start working. When I come here to live, I see the live image from the camera, okay? And I uh, have also something important to show you here. You can test if the camera is working with OnVIF when you enable OnVIF here, you can use this software, okay? The OnVIF device manager. It finds the cameras in the network using the OnVIF protocol. As you can see, I have a real link wireless camera here using OnVIF. So I can see here, I can see live video from the camera using this OnVIF protocol. And I can see the high vision camera. Sometimes when I click here in live video, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, the software and the cameras aren't trying to communicate. Even if I don't have signal here, I see that the camera is communicating with the software here, right? I can have access to the camera right here, right? I can also copy and paste this URL here to test. Okay, this is the OnVIF uh, string of commands that can connect to the camera. I can use a software like the VLC, for example, come here to media, open network stream and paste it here. Okay. And then when I play, I just need to enter the username and password for the camera. And here we go. I have the image from the camera directly here in this software, the VLC media player. Okay. And that's just a way to test the camera to make sure it's working with the OnVIF protocol. Okay, use the software. I'll leave the link in the description so you can find the software here and download it. It's a free software. So basically when you enable OnVIF on the cameras, you can check here and find all of them working. Okay, and uh, it's a good test, right? So it's working. As you can see here, I have all the cameras connected. Let me just come back here to the main menu and live and see all the cameras that I have here, right? It takes a while to load. Again, I have the high vision camera working here. Uh, I'm a Crest camera, real link and real link, everything working together in the same. And if you are using the own VIF protocol, okay? Pretty good, working pretty fine, right? So I hope you like this video, okay? And uh, you can now connect your high vision camera to your NVR. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up in your comments, and I see you in the next one.